Clearing jams on the floor. It's very simple. You're going you're gonna to come in, you're going to open it up, you're going you're gonna to remove your module. You're going to do a visual inspection of it. You're going to open up, take a look at the build path. Now, you're also going to want to check to make sure that your game doesn't have any built up tilts in it. Like with the IGT games, they'll stack them up. You want to make sure that you're tilt free. And very simple, lift the latch and you can get to your build path just in case you have a jam. If you have problems with it, consistent problems with it, you can go to the game right next to it. Grab the one off of there, stick it in there, see if it works. As long as, as, long as you're running same model. If you're, if you're going pulling this out of an IGT game and you're going and grabbing one from a Bally, you're obviously going to have to change the firmware in the head in order to make it communicate properly to see if you can accept properly. Now, we're going to talk about a little bit about the cleaning. Cleaning of this, MEI has always said, don't use alcohol on these. What they suggest you use is a mild soap and water mixture to run across and then use a dry towel to dry it off. What we want to do is we want to keep from having any film, any residue left on here to degrade the LEDs and to make it a little bit less receptive to, uh, to uh, acceptance. Now, with the alcohol, what they're saying is the alcohol will actually etch into the lens right here and it will actually cause it to get cloudy. And then your acceptance rates will obviously start to go down.